Okay, welcome back, y'all. So, I was at the backer store a second ago, right? Yeesh. I was at the backer store a second ago, right? And the lady behind the counter, I was like, do y'all have the new smooth wintergreen? And they were like, no, we tried getting it twice, but we can't get it. I said, okay, do you have the new Copenhagen black? She goes, no, we don't got that yet either. And I was like, all right, do you have any of the new stuff? Anything new? Even the new Grizzly can, right? Like, they got that because I've seen it there. I got it. I got it. America, right? America. America. But yeah, she was like, we got this new, blah, blah, blah. This is new. I was like, yeah, I've seen that. And I got a pinch of it in right now, but. Yeah, I got a pinch of it in right now, but I didn't take a big one because I didn't know how it was going to taste. Because if, if y'all see my channel, if y'all are like hardcore subs for my channel, you know everything about my channel. Then you know I hate this brand. Like, I don't, I don't like it at all. But I didn't know how this was going to taste, so. But I got the new Longhorn Wintergreen Chill. Jesus, it's about to fall. The new Longhorn Wintergreen Chill. Now, I put it in, and honestly, first off, it's obviously, just by looking at the name of it, it's obviously Wintergreen and Mint mixed together right that's obviously what it is but i put this in and i immediately felt the cool air of the mint right but then as i kept it in and by the way i just got this i just cracked it and everything because i just got home from the tobacco store before i made this video now just i had it in for a couple more minutes and I got the burning of the wintergreen. Like, y'all know I love wintergreen. That's my favorite flavor, right? So, for someone to come out with, like, I'm pretty sure it's been done before, but like, Kodiak had one, and uh, someone else had one. But, anyways, but like, for someone to make a wintergreen and mint mix, that's good for me because I don't like, even me, I love wintergreen. But like, I don't like wintergreen all the time. You know, I have to switch it up sometimes. Like, if you look in my house, there's a bunch of cans. Every can in my room right now is wintergreen or has something to do with wintergreen. But, Every once in a while, I get like straight or mint or something to mix it up, right? So, for this to be out, it's good. It's a good mixer, you know? It's good to mix it up with this because it's still got wintergreen, but it's not fully wintergreen. It's also got mint in it. So, if you love wintergreen, I suggest getting this. Even if, even if you're not a wintergreen guy. And you like mint, I suggest still getting this because it's obviously it's it's a good dip. I'll, I'll admit that it's actually a good dip. I wasn't expecting to have it in this long because I hate Longhorn, but it's not too shabby. Longhorn also has a new peach out, but uh, I don't have high expectations for that one. Um, yeah, I mean, I got this new Longhorn. Probably going to have it as a backup dip. Because as I said, I don't like wintergreen all the time. And there's some wintergreens I don't even like. Like the Red Steel wintergreen, I don't like that. The uh, Skull wintergreen, I don't like that. I don't know why, but 
Kodiak. Kodiak's actually pretty good. Uh, Kayak. That's what I meant to say. Uh, Longhorns, Wintergreen, I hate. But, like, there's some, there's a lot of winter greens that I do like. Grizzly Dark, Grizzly Original, the Copenhagen, uh, Kodiak. I like, I like winter green, but there's certain winter greens I don't like, if that makes sense. So, I mean, get this. I hate Longhorns, winter green, and their mint, but they mix them together. And I actually like this. I don't get it. Was the formula done differently on this one or something? Because this is actually pretty damn good. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave the video, guys. Uh, my name's Cutter K. Always back a dip in your lip. It's been Shawnee Jaw. I'll see y'all next time.